you know, doing something to represent curtain wall content really quick, okay? So if I, you know, I'm trying to at least convey that, hey, we're, we're dealing with some curtain wall, curtain wall facade on the front of the building, how are some quick ways of some workflows or some strategies on handling that? So coming back to this, this guy, let's say we have a secondary building that's going to land right here, let's say. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'll just lay out, let's say, a rectangle here. All right, and then I want to lay out, let's say, 20-foot radius. And then what I'm going to do is, let's say we want to raise this guy up, let's say, 50 feet. Let's see, both of these. Now, I just held, hold down uh, the control key to do both of those, so I'm just going to come in. And say, hey, those are 60. All right, so I got something kind of laid out here. Now, a couple of things as for the round facade. Now, you know, if I was really getting into the detail modeling using Formant, then that's where I'd really sit down, lay out a curtain wall system as for a panel, a panel system and then grab the array and then a radial array of this thing around. I just want to show you a couple of tips and tricks, just like, you know, again, I'm in early schematic. I'm trying to convey maybe what I'm thinking as for a facade on the building. So one of the little tips and tricks I want to bring up is, is that if I pick on this and I right click, there's a tool here. Instead of showing this perfectly smooth, you can turn on this facet option. And then what it does is it gives me then facets, which which will convey the idea that those are curtain panels. And that's the whole idea on it. So if I come back in here and pick on this guy, I can do the same thing. So again, just trying to convey the idea that I have some panelization going on on this. So quick, dirty, and easy to do something like that. The other thing that I want to throw out here too is your tab key. So now if I wanted to break up this facade vertically, here's one of the things. Now, I don't know if you can pick up on this on your screen or not, but when I hover down there, it's picking the one little edge along the arc. And I don't know if I can zoom in to see that. It's kind of hard to see that maybe on your screen, but it's showing one edge. A little trick of the trade is your magic tab key. And again, it's kind of hard to see maybe on your screen, but it really picked all those edges along the edge. So I select that, I pick on it, and then guess what? I'm going to use my array. And this time I'm going to do total length. So this is like a divide. And let's just say I did 60 feet, so I'm going to say it's six levels. Ooh, let's do that again. I accidentally hit rotate. So I come in here in array, and I want to do linear, total length six. And then how cool is this? So just trying to convey, again, some panelization on this. And so literally now... These are individual panels, so I can paint them with color, materials, and get the idea that, hey, we're going to put some panelization on the front of this facade. And you can do this even with linear lines. Like if I came in here and grabbed this line down here, I could right click, grab array, total length based on, now this one would need to be five because it's 50 feet. I'm just thinking 10 foot floors is all I'm thinking. And I can lay this out. All right, so then I got those broke up into panels. So you can see how they're individual surfaces. And then I could even, now this is where the tab key doesn't work on this. So I need uh, Tobias to fix this for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do a selection window. Now, notice how I picked up the other one. So I can hold down the shift key to deselect that. And then I can right click. And we can do another array. Let's say I actually want to do 10 of those guys. And again, I can snap onto this and bring this across. And you can see very quickly, I got something now representing my panels. Now, obviously, you know, at this point, I could go to the level of detail that I wanted. I mean, I could grab a panel. I could offset, right? I could offset this in maybe, uh, I don't know, two inches. Right, offset in, I got a little frame. I could pick on my zoom in here a little bit. I could pop that frame out a little bit if I needed to. You guys get the idea. You know, I could start geeking again as much as I wanted. I could group that. I could slice the lines out. I could group that, start arraying that. 
uh, maybe I write every other one, whatever. I could start really uh, adding the extra detail. But I just wanted to show you real quick using the array tool and giving you guys some tips and tricks on round objects within Revit if you just wanted to really quick just convey the idea that there's some sort of facade on here that we're going to do some flat panels going around here on a curved curtain wall. So hopefully that gives you some really cool insight on, on pulling off some of that. 